Hello everybody, this is Windows 8 Fan 2012. I haven't even posted in like two weeks, but today I am going to be installing the Windows 8.1 beta version on this computer now. Unfortunately, I have had issues with this computer recently, or this 8.1 install. Recently, the package repository has gotten corrupted, which has prevented me to install like any APPXs and stuff. So, soon enough, I will be clean installing this build, but I, I'm not going to clean install it or override it. My only purpose is literally just to um install this, but eventually I will have to clean install my build because my build has gotten corrupted, which kind of sucks. So, let's just get into it. First off, I'm going to go ahead and format this. Because that's what we're going to need to do. We're going to need to format this drive. First things first. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and restart while pressing shift. Continue the April one. We're going to press escape. There you go, and we're going to select my USB. Here we are! There's the Windows uh, 8.1 beta boot menu. Now, for some information about this build, I did say this was the beta, but this is more specifically build 9471. And this version came out sometime around May of 2013. Uh, this is the only, if I'm correct, only public beta build of Windows 8.1. And uh, in my channel, I have a bunch of Windows 8.1 related videos archived. And in the uh, Introducing Windows 8.1 video, this build is actually the build that is showcased. So let's go. So I did notice that it looks pretty same, except we do have um, Microsoft Confidential in the corner there. Install now. Alright, setup is starting. Let's go ahead and start this. Microsoft pre-release software, that's different. 8.1 preview, 8.1 pro preview, 8.1 pro preview media center. Let's go, I accept. And now I'm gonna install to the logical drive right here. And we're also gonna format it as well, along with that so we can get a good clean install. So now I'm gonna wait for this to install and I'll be back. So here we are at the personalization, which is cool. Now, the personalization setup does look a lot similar. Um, except for the fact they think that the color slider that you get for the colors is different. So, I guess the new color slider was added. For the color, I'm going to go purple and I'm just going to name it the normal Jasper Dash piece. Yeah, express settings, we'll just go with that. So, the set setup for this is very similar to the one in normal 8.1 builds. If not the exact same, but still pretty similar. So I'm just gonna set up a local account and we're gonna get into it. Now, I did not mention that unfortunately we don't have graphics drivers, but it's pretty easy to set that up. I can just go ahead and install them through the website. Either that or I can just go ahead and get them. So I'll probably be setting up graphics drivers and then I'll look for some of the stuff. So from at least what I think, um, I finally did get graphics drivers, but this is nice. Now, I did download a D-bomb build, but it unfortunately does not work, so I can't get that, and I haven't activated yet, so I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to be able to check out these, um, these things. Okay, so I just had to do some research. Um, yeah, this build is debombed. It just requires, um, it requires a freaking, what is it? It requires to be activated. The freaking little act thing needs to, apparently has to be activated. But for some reason, when I looked, there was absolutely like zero not in nothing. And the person who posted this on archive.org turns out it was from a Chinese one. Uh, somebody uh, in China made the thing, or the 
you know, the build, the debomb. But, since that video doesn't exist anymore, I can't debomb the build. So, unfortunately, what I choices I have to show you is very limiting, unfortunately. So, first off, I want to look at these uh, start menus. Because I've uh, looked through the wiki and there are some new start menus. So, let's look through them. So first of all, we have the robot, which is kind of basic. I have this one. Then this is a new one, which this isn't in final. Uh, this is the flowers. Then we have this one, which is like a dragon. This one appears in the original. This one's in Windows 8.1. This is in 8.1. This one's in 8.1. This one's in 8. This is 8.1 and 8. I mean, this one is the exact same, but a little different in 8.0, but this is the 8.1 version. This one's in 8.1. This one's in 8.1. 8, 8, 8, 8, 8. Also, what was new about this uh, build as well was that, um, you are able to set your background as the start screen's background too. But I'm going to use this roses because I think the roses look really cool. Now, I'm going to look through backgrounds and let's see what we have first. So, first off, mail. Now, we do need a Microsoft account for this, so it probably won't work. Yep, switch to a Microsoft account on this PC. I'm not going to try logging in, so let's just ignore that. Uh, Maps. Let's see if maps still works on here. Okay, no, I don't want it to use my location. It's very blurry. So, the map's pretty blurry, so I don't think it works. If I were to just try searching something up on here. Oh, I didn't even mean to do that. So, I don't think the Maps app works. Internet Explorer 11. Now, you might not think anything special about this, but this is actually the beta version of Internet Explorer 11 Metro Edition. This is actually the beta version of it. And um, it's pretty interesting to say the least. Now, the MSN website didn't seem to load, but if I went to Google, it could probably work. But let's go to Google real quick. Uh, it does still show suggestions, but it has Google, which we can click on, and will load. But if you try to load any kind of other website, it probably wouldn't work because this is a legacy browser. So, yeah. SkyDrive, which is before was OneDrive, but eventually after when it released, I think it was renamed to OneDrive. Finance. I'm curious if this app is the same as 8.0 or has been improved. Seems it's different. We have Welcome to Bing Finance. We don't see anything, which is to be expected. We do already have some uh, here. We have the Wall Street Journal. That's pretty cool. Now, how about games? Curious about games if it looks any di Oh. I think it just crashes. Alright, so that one doesn't work. How about we go through to the news? The news does have its new icon. Um, it's st But here's something different you might not notice. Instead of it saying MSN News right here in the top left, it actually says Bing News still. But usually, it'll say MSN News. Which does prove that there is something different about this app. But... So my surprise, we're still getting the news, and we can still load it in. So to my surprise, we do still get um new stuff, although just not daily. The store's the same, but we do have a new app called Help and Tips, which does have a different icon as to what it usually is. So let's check this one out. Start in apps. It's just lots of the basic stuff. We have the Microsoft Store there. Get more apps. We have a cool little background there. It shows all the apps like Bejeweled Live, a bunch of old Windows 8 apps. Desktop, and we have some videos with it as well. Sports is one. Let's check this one out. Is sports any different? Oh, it is different, but it just says the page fails to load. Both of them do say that. And let's check out weather. If this is mess might be the same. No, it's, it is the 8.01 version because in 8.1... Uh, the background is, like, kind of, like, forest and sticks and stuff. Although, in 8.0, the background is different, which just disappeared. There were some different backgrounds in the 8.1 app compared to the other apps. Um, we can actually look at those right now, and it's really, actually really easy to do that. You just got to go to your local disk. 
Then we'll go to program files and I'll just give myself access to the Windows app folder. Alright, here we are. So let's go ahead and go down to the Bing weather app. Now, in this build, uh, the Bing app, the normal one that's in 8.0, was removed. And also, we don't have the all apps anymore. If we right-click, it gives us customize now. Instead of it usually being name groups, it gives us customize. But we can still go down here, which this is new. We have some other apps in here, like calculator, which is the same as the one in 8.1. We have some other apps like alarms. Alarms is the same as in 8.1. We have uh, games, which didn't work, unfortunately. Health and fitness, people, travel, which I don't think was pinned or might have been. Um, now, it is slightly different. We do have Rome, Italy. So, it is slightly different. We do have our featured destinations still. We actually have a new one over here. We have New York, and we also have this one in Croatia. Now, unfortunately, if you press it, it doesn't lo load. It won nothing will load, unfortunately. That's just the case because of the fact that um, it's like that. Then you can look at all your top trips, and you can click on it. And it will usually give you information, but unfortunately, it doesn't work. You have hotels, which probably won't work. But it's still cool, nonetheless, that some of these apps work. We do have a reading list app. Read at your leisure. We can see how it's done, which sends us to uh, internet, which we don't need to look at that. It's probably a dead end anyway. So, we have a lot of apps here. We have Sound Recorder, which was new. It is the same as well. Not any different. Sports, PC settings is the new updated version. The lock screen, however, is uh, yellow this time on here instead of blue. We do have some other lock screens, which I'm pretty sure if I'm correct are the same ones that appear in 8.1. You can play a slideshow if you want, which cycles through your photos, but unfortunately I don't have any photos, so it's not going to actually do any slideshows, unfortunately. But there's an easy way to fix that. If I just go to my Bing app, and then the, here's the images, you can actually look at all the panorama backgrounds and also look at all that stuff, which is actually kind of interesting. Unfortunately, though... It doesn't have all of the app, all the um, images just straight up there. It's only this one right here, which if you double click and do set as, you can actually set this as the lock screen, which originally you couldn't do as your background, if I'm correct. So if I now go and press Windows L to the lock screen, there it is, there's my lock screen. So yeah, there are some new features in this build, but there actually is not a lot different from release. Considering the fact this is 9471, this is actually pretty close to Windows uh, 8.1's release. So there wasn't a lot different about it. We did get a lot of the new, very cool, like, big features about it. But there's still some stuff that wasn't last thing. Like, for example, the little bar that appears at the top is not there still. So that wasn't fully developed. Uh, some of the apps I went, I'm not able to go through. Because we'll just crouch. Alright, I'm going to look at the camera real quick and just see if it works. So, the camera does work. Just had to check that. Stuff like sports, drinks, maps. All this stuff, um, most of it will not work anymore. Due to the fact that it's a dead um, OS. It's a beta version. I wouldn't be expecting it to work. But, unfortunately, that's just the case. Also, I'm very sorry about my thing. It might have been blurred, but I've been focusing on the computer. There we go. Um, so not a lot of new stuff, actually. There is one more thing that I do want to check out, however, and that is the fact that we have some new backgrounds. So let's go ahead and see what they are. When you go to Earth, we still have all the basic ones, so not all the backgrounds were there. But this time, we actually still have the flowers backgrounds. These ones are from 8. You just set it and look at that. you got new backgrounds that you can set to. Now, like I said, not not many stuff, not, not much has changed. A lot of the stuff is almost the exact same. Task manager is going to be the same. Not much is going to be different about that. Um, our memory, yeah, there's not going to really be anything different. Everything's going to be about the same. So it does kind of suck that there isn't as much I can look at through this build than in the other build, but there is one thing. One thing, and that is the Internet Explorer 11 beta. Now, I talked about the Metro beta, but this is also the Internet Explorer 11 beta, 
which is buggy because I had to set this up and, uh, well, download stuff to activate Windows. And, yeah, it was quite a mess. Quite hit or miss. It would crash a lot, but it does work. But not every website on it is going to work. So we're going to go to YouTube or try to at least, which it probably won't work. But it's probably not going to do anything. Like, yeah, please update your browser. It just says, it just says my browser's not supported anymore. To be fair, that is true. Now, I could try sideloading an app like I do, but I just don't really have the time to do that. I sideloaded an app on Windows 8.1 preview. <sighs> yep, and hopefully it works. <laughs> well, it didn't work, but the app actually installed. Well, I'm not going to do any more, okay? I'm starting to get pretty bored. I've been messing around for a good couple of minutes, and I think I'm going to leave it here. So, thank you guys for watching, and peace out.